Hello there, audience. Um, this is my Cinema 4D tutorial number five on uh, Dynamics Time Remapping. Yeah, so let, let's let's get into it. Basically, uh, Dynamics Time Remapping is doing this kind of thing. Um, this kind of thing. This is a quick example render. <laughs> Basically, just messing around with dynamics, and you can you can also you can make super slow motion. You can like remix it per se, um, and yeah, you can can uh, mess around with dynamics and the timeline, which is quite cool, and it works really well with Thrasy. It's like using Twixter, but a lot better because it won't have it wouldn't have the really annoying blurry bits or and whatnot. Okay, uh, I've I've done two examples already. Uh, one of them I rendered, which I showed you. That was just a quick little thing imaging, and here's the other one. It's just like you can see it goes. It's really super slow, faster than super slow. And here's the other file for the other one. It's yeah. It's a nice. It's a nice effect, and it's a lot easier than it could. Look, it can look, I guess. I gash. Uh, yeah. So let's start. Um, a new file or the file you already have with dynamical stuff. That good, but yeah. Uh, yeah. A new file. Um, what we're gonna do? We're just gonna do a basic Thrasy example just to show you how it works. But you can apply this to anything with a dynamics tag on it. Okay. <clears throat> So let's just add our floor. Right click the floor, simulation if you're on R13 and R12, rigid body. Now we want our object to throusify. Um I don't know what to go for, it's such a hard decision. Let's go for the most uh, I don't know, I literally never use this shape. Should we change it? No, let's keep it like this. Um, we have our interesting platonic. Why do I always do that? All these, all these, all five of these tutorials, I always do that. Okay, so click on it. You've, I'm sure, most of you have Thrasy. If you don't, there's about a billion uh, tutorials telling you about it, which is possibly the most simple thing ever. Uh, here is Thrasy. Let's, we're going to do it like quite a lot of pieces, I think. Can my computer cope with 50? That is the question. <coughs> no, I'm impressed. Uh, so there we go, we've had, we've broken it, it's in our fracture object, we've all the pieces. One thing I like to do is to change all the fong tags to 22 degrees. Because as you can see, you got those weird gradient things, it doesn't look solid, but if you do 22, there you go. Bob's your uncle. So if we hit play, you can see it breaks. Isn't that terribly lovely? Uh, so what we want to do, because when you notice when you play something in, with dynamics, you pause it, and then you can't. If you go anywhere else, like back, it it won't like go back. Because if you keyframed it, if that made any sense. So what we need to do is we need to bake the dynamics. So if you're on a Mac, which you should be, you hit Apple D, and if you're on a PC, I'm sure it's Control D. But okay. So then we want to go to the dynamics thing here, uh, and cache, and then bake. So now, as you can see, we can just scrub through it really easily. It's as if it's keyframed. There might there are there keyframes. No, it's not actually keyframe. I don't think so. I should just find out. Timeline. No, there are no keyframes. Uh, okay. If you wanted to know how to do that, you could click my other, go on my other tutorial, and I'm not going to put an annotation in because that was really boring last time. Okay, uh, I don't want to make this too long because they all seem to be overly long for no reason. 
All right, so we've done that. We've baked it, and then we want to go on it again. Apple D or Control D for the odd people. Um, and then you can see here it says playback time. This is this is the time remap section, if you like. So what we want to do, we want to hit use, and then you'll notice as you scrub through, nothing's happening. Because essentially, what this is doing is it will keep that frame that you've baked in any place you've set it if that makes sense so as you can see we're on frame zero we're on the first frame but if we scrub through here if we just change the uh yeah the numbers you can see it just changes it and because we only did it with 90 frames it'll go up 90 frames um so what i recommend you do if you want it nice and super slow and stuff uh make the timeline a bit bigger just so you can fit more in or, yeah so yeah we could start from anything but we're gonna start from zero so we want to get control and then click the red light or the circle so it becomes a little red light thing and then so if we want slow-mo for the first bit let's let's go forward to frame 40 and type in 10 or actually type it in you know no, that was an awful idea. That'll just take ages. Let's go to yeah. No, a really cool idea is to have really fast and then slow when it actually breaks. So if we just uncheck use for a sec, we can find out when it does break. That's around twenty. So hit use. We want if we go to frame eight and do nineteen. Uh, and then if we go forward to like 70 and do 25 see how that looks yeah that's really annoying that's a bit, that's, that's boring uh as you can see you can just mess around with it um just do it how you like uh let's do it to 5 So as you can see, it'll whiz down real quick, and then it'll be like pretty slow. And what we can do, which is a nice effect, is like, where does it stop? Let's get rid of that. Or you can have it go slow and then fast real quick. So let's do this. Yeah. Let's put another keyframe down here. You can also do this with the keyframe timeline, which could be easier for you if that's what you want. So do a keyframe, another few frames on and then in between the two keyframes you just set down go up a bit like go forward a few frames and see how it looks it's could I might have done this really wrong see you're, yeah I went a bit too far so it went forward and then back but that could be a nice effect you want it could be if you want it uh where is that high keyframe it's just there I'm gonna change it a bit play five yeah, as you can see, you can just mess around with this till your heart's content and just do that for a while. And you can also rewind it, so... This is, like, one of the most rushed examples. So, then we whiz back to frame zero. As you can see, it'll rewind. So, you're basically just playing around with the time. That was really boring. Uh, yeah. That, uh, that was... Me trying to keep it short and sweet. Um, this was not as in depth as it could have been, but as you can see, I'll just show you the other ones. Show you what the other ones are like. So we go on this one. You can see I've set. Oh, yeah. If you just look at the playback time, it's whizzes like to twenty in the first five frames, and then um, takes like twenty frames to. Go like ten keyframes, so it's like don't half, double time, half time, and then it's just like yeah, it looks cool. So yeah, uh, this has been terribly fun. Why do I say that all the time? Um, hopefully this is like under ten minutes. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, like it. You know, there. I'm not telling you to. Don't like people who do that. Uh.
Um, oh yeah, also, the editing for this was... I didn't do anything fancy, I just colour corrected it and added a song. I thought it was quite, enough. It was quite a cool song, actually. I think. Uh, Alright, that was it. Uh, see you next time on my next tutorial, which will not be soon, because I'm going away. But probably none of you are regular, so that, that was fun. Anyway, bye.